Hello, and welcome to the McTaggart Attack Podcast. In today's episode, I'm Kevin McTaggart, by the way, the host. Sometimes I forget to say that. Anyway, in today's episode, I'm going to talk about why I don't think Marjorie Taylor Greene is the problem. In fact, I think she might possibly be um, a false flag a term she apparently likes to use, but I think she's a false flag herself, and I explain why in this podcast episode. Let me know what you think by commenting on the YouTube video or um, wherever you're listening to the podcast, or you can email me, mctaggartattack at gmail.com, or find me on social media at mctaggartattack on Twitter, Instagram, and TikTok. Anyway, let's get on with this episode. I didn't know much about Georgia Representative Marjorie Taylor Greene, so I thought I'd look her up and make a podcast episode about it. Look her up on uh, the internet, specifically Wikipedia, because I like the Wikipedia ones that have the references. Don't trust the Wikipedias that don't have any references, but as long as there's... I, my theory is as long as the Wikipedia is well referenced then I will go ahead and use that Wikipedia I also don't really like telling people where I got my sources from because I've been ripped about that before but I'm not talking about Amber Heard or Johnny Depp in this episode so I don't think I'll have anybody rip me for the sources for which I'm citing the first thing that that comes to mind that blares out at me that that points out to me something about Marjorie Taylor Greene was she originally was going for the representative of the 6th district in Georgia because that's where she lives but then the incumbent in the 14th district decided that he didn't want to run so she went to the 14th district instead she doesn't live there she didn't live there at the time but she moved there after she won, I think, according to what I saw in Wikipedia. You can look it up in Wikipedia. I'm not going to read to you word for word everything I saw in the Wikipedia article. But that was like the first thing that I'm like, wait a second. She's talking about how Trump was cheated out of the election. She's talking about how Biden illegally won the election. But she moved, she, she ran for election in a district she didn't even live in at the time. How is that not cheating? How is that not cheating to win an election? So far, the only one that I've seen that's sort of cheating, the closest that's come to cheating to win an election is is Marjorie Taylor Greene. She's, she's the only one who seems like a cheater here. What else? I, I think the first time I saw her was at the impeachment and she spoke and she had a mask that said censored on it. Yet she was standing there in the House of Representatives speaking her mind so she wasn't that censored. Right? Not that censored. I don't think she knows what censored means. I'm not 100% sure. Maybe she does. I'm assuming she does. But she's just using the word in a different way. That's for sure. And she believes all of these crazy QAnon conspiracy theories. You know, the whole Democratic celebrity drink the blood of dead children pedophile thing that goes on. Um, the Pizza Gate theory, all these different crazy conspiracy theories. Um, she's called uh, mass shootings false flags, false flag events, like the, uh, which one is it? Parkland, Parkland, the, the high school shooting that happened in South Florida, she, she called that a false flag. Um, 
there's even video of her hunting down the people who were going to watch to, that were going to Congress to speak, and she's berating them as they're going there to speak. She's berating some of the victims of that mass shooting. She's berating the friends and family members who died in that mass shooting, telling them that it's not real. That why are you here? It's, why are you allowed to do this? Blah blah blah. Just berating them. Stupid. You can have a gun all you fucking want to. And I don't think it's about anyone who legally has a gun. No one's going to take your goddamn guns away. Let's get that straight right now. It's when you irresponsibly use guns is the fucking problem. It's when you use it for emotional reasons or for... You know, it's when the wrong people use guns. That's a, that is the problem. What was that other mass shooting that I was trying to look up? I... Wish I could remember all of the mass shootings, but you wish you could forget them sometimes. And I'm just going to look on my phone to see about, let's see, just scrolling through my phone. I know, this, this dumb pizza gate, false flag. She claimed a lot of things were fake. She just, she, she, there's a lot of weird conspiracy theories that she seems to believe in. And I didn't know what a false flag was. Do you know what a false flag is? I learned what a false flag thing is. A false flag operation is an act committed with the intent of disguising the actual source of responsibility and pinning blame on a second party. Interesting. So it's basically what she's saying is the Democrats did that. They set up these mass shooting events where they would then support gun violence or gun rights or whatever. Stricter gun laws and things like that because they created these events saying that they were fake, that they were created. I almost feel like Marjorie Taylor Greene is a false flag. Because I don't think, as crazy as she is with all the ridiculous conspiracy theories that she believes in, a lot of people believe in these conspiracy theories. And it's almost like she's been sent there, you know, to Congress to represent people. And she's not even, a, you know, doesn't, she just recently moved where she's representing But she's sort of like a false flag because she's not really the problem. As crazy as she appears to be, she's not the fucking problem. The divisiveness in this country is a problem. The how Democrats and Republicans won't compromise with each other, won't try to talk things out. They'll go to Twitter instead to, to you know, complain about the other side. And it's disgusting. And when it gets so divisive, we get crazy people joining the parties like Marjorie Taylor Greene. But it's just like the divisiveness is so goddamn disgusting. Like, we have these two political parties, which is fine, but, I mean, we're two political parties that live in the same country. So we need to act like that. And that's the problem. We've gone so far far down this divisiveness wormhole that that we that that we're not that it's almost as if we're too far down that wormhole to save us from this stupid divisiveness we'd have so many less problems we we'd solve so many damn things if we just fucking talked to each other instead of yelled at each other I keep saying this in podcast episodes, but it's true. We just, we just, we just need to like, I, I would love it if Republicans and Democrats talking to each other wasn't like a major event or wasn't big news because what, what is it? There's news that the, the 10 Republicans who have a compromise for the uh, COVID-19 
stimulus package. They they they're gonna they're gonna go talk to Biden. They're gonna talk to the president. They're, they've been invited to the White House. That shouldn't be news. It doesn't have to be news. It shouldn't be news when 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 we're acting in a bipartisan way. We should always act bipartisan. But it's like we don't compromise anymore. And when we don't compromise anymore for decades at a time, we just as it keeps going and going, we get we get more people on both sides who know that we shouldn't talk to the other side. And that's why we have people in Congress right now like Marjorie Taylor Greene. It's almost as if she's a false flag created by the divisiveness to make us not mad at the divisiveness. We're mad at her. But she's not the problem. The problem is the divisiveness in Congress. That's the fucking problem. And if they would just talk to each other and and just work things out and instead of having it be news when they work things out, just it's their job to work together. They all live in the same country and we should all act like it because if we don't, we're going to get a hell of a lot more Marjorie Taylor Greens. Thank you so much for watching and or listening to the episode today. I really appreciate it. Please be sure to let me know what you thought. And that's the bottom line. If you smell what the McTaggart Attack podcast is cooking.